And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The national spotlight is on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. It's the New York Yankees and the Chicago Cubs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And today's starter, Kyle Hendricks. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Right side, hard hit. Bush takes it to the bag, and a quick out number one. On the north side of Chicago, John Chomby and Chris Singleton. Here's a big power threat. Juan Soto. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Aaron oh. Judge stands in here, one takes ball out. one low. Judge enjoyed He's success tough. at the major league level right away. He hit 52 one, one. home runs as a rookie, breaking Mark McGuire's record, and became the first Yankee to win Rookie of the Year since some guy named Derek Cheater. On the ground, two ball. On a That's second, right. they get one. Hey. With the push. It's a double play. And we're back. Our starter in this one, Marcus Stroman. Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. To first, one gone bottom half of the first. Ian Happ no, at the plate now. That's ball one. Well. And that's in for a strike. One down, base is empty. That's the ball. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That split is a pretty two, nasty two. pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. And down on strikes he goes. And there are two down. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at-bats and quality at-bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series, so no doubt frustration mounting. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. Scoreless after one. Back here at the friendly confines. Second inning set to go. Here's Glaber Torres. Hendricks back to work. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws the first in time. One up, one down. Here's Stanton now. Three for eight in the series coming in. First pitch misses. Hendricks goes six feet, three inches. More than 100 career wins on the mound, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2011. Swanson fires over to first. Two up, two down. Here's Jose Trevino. And a foul ball. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And a pitch. Ball oh. one there. Second inning here. No score. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. 
He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And here uh -oh, is ball. Anthony Rizzo. One ball, no strike. Two outs. Swings right, through that one. one for strike one. Good late sink on one that one. fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Good. Next offering in there for a strike. One ball, and count two one and two. Quick. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Leading off, Cody Bellinger. And a foul ball. Bellinger is an interesting example when you talk about scouting and development. I mean, this is a guy now that has turned into one of the oh, premier power hitters in the sport. He was right. a fourth-round pick out of Hamilton High School in Chandler, Arizona in 2013. He had one homer the senior year. Dansby Swanson batting with one down, takes a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Okay. Swing and a bouncer. Cabrera. Sends it across the first. And that quickly two away. And up next for Chicago, Christopher Morrell. Although we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's no hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. There's a strike. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Now this one's crushed down the line. Again, foul ball. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. One and two now. Fights it off, you'll see another. The one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is the. Here at Wrigley Field. Now the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. And there's a foul ball. Ripped on a line. And out number one on the ground. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Two for seven in the series so far. Gets yeah. him to chase after that one. No one won. On the ground to short. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score. So the lineup flips over. Here's Alex Verdugo. Grounded out his first time up. Hendricks throws over. Wolfie dives back in, but they got him. Up the middle corner. In plenty of time to first. And that is the bottom of the inning. Now it's Jan Gomes. Just oh. missed. One and oh. Bounced up the middle. Nice grab to his knee. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. Well, you can see right there. He looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the team up for sure. Next for the Cubs, Michael Bush. And that one fouled off. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. 
Next pitch is outside. This to third. And that one handled. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's Nico Horner. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. That's in there. That is strike two. Got it by him for the K. And the Cubs are down in order. As we go to the top of the fourth, stepping in the long ball threat, Juan Soto. That what one missed. You know, these Yankees, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits, so they might want to be a little more selective up there. Two, one. And another ball. And that's Three in the one. Dirt. the middle dives but it kicks off his glove he decides to hold on to it he's in safely and now there's a runner at first go ahead run on base Aaron Judge stepping in now for the Yankees scoreless here but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power oh. got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals the pitch High in the air, out to right. Suzuki has a beat on it. Calls it in for the out. Labor Torres up to hit. He's over one. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Swings and misses. Going on. These hitters have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. Outside low, and it's 1 and 1. Swings through that. One and two. Count. Here's a one two. On the ground to third. In time to Bush. And they take care of Stanton. Bottom four. So up now for Chicago. In half. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. You know, these Cubs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And that one is lifted in the air. Soto gets under it. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. So digging in, Seiya Suzuki. Swing and a miss as he was late. 0 oh and 1. Right through there for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable oh hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull One, the trigger, two. he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Just That's the ball. missed. Great job of laying off those pitches strike. down in the zone to even the count off at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Not stopping, he's going for three. In there oh, safely. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Righty to the plate. Ball. Well. 
Swing and a miss struck him out. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield play no, back no, 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 and this pitcher no, no. has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. Swings through that one for strike two. No ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back here at Wrigley Field, and here is Jose Trevino. Just missed. Trevino, a former ball, Gold Glove no winner, 31 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2014. the strike the pitch swing ah. and a miss that one in the dirt <laughs> the change up right there just pulled the string wouldn't chase that time two and two next pitch is outside really good take especially with two strikes And that's ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike Your one. Ball strike. Here comes the 0-1. Yeah. And the swing and the miss. Two strikes to a guy who's already oh, 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Outside. No, that one misses. And the count is 2 and 2. Way to lay off that pitch down. up to the heater. Oh boy, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Cabrera in the box now. No balls and a strike. Ball still 0 and 2. And yeah, that's ball outside. outside. And yeah, there's oh. a ball. 2 and 2. The ground could be two. Fires to second for one on the bush. It's a double play. We're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Christopher Morell. Fastball for a strike. One, one. You know, these Cubs, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Now it's the DH, David Fry. Fall off foul. One down, base is empty. Fouled off, he was late. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Gomes batting for the second time, and that's strike ah. one. Next offering in there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, it looks like that curveball backed up on him. And although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitter has timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. And that one finds its way through. So now back to the top of the order. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now, run, run, run. Alex Verdugo. Safe at oh, second, Lord. and he easily steals the bag. Here's what I think the manager's thinking right now. Today, we're not driving the ball. It's hard to get extra base hits. We've got to make something happen to get a runner in the scoring position. That stolen base, excellent call. Now, all it takes is perhaps a single to put a run on the board. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And he'll two. And that's, that's outside. One and two. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. In comes the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Yankees. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Now, Juan Soto. That pitch gets the corner, and it's 0-1. And he swings over the top there. Moving in the Cubs bullpen, Caleb Killian. Preparing to come on if needed. Smiley getting loose as well. And it's second. Pitch misses one there. One and two to count. Ground ball up the middle. And that chance handled. Got him on the off-balance throw. Now one gone at the top of the sixth. It's Aaron Judge now. Judge rips that one. Suzuki on the move. And makes the grab. Runner tags for home. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. And they take a two-run lead. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats. But he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. Boots it. Safe at first. No play. We'll see how they score this. Here comes Craig Council. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Caleb Killian. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Ball one, no strikes. Torres, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball to strike. One and one. Delivers Number outside. One. That one ripped. That's back. Calls it in on the warning track. 
But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees 2 and the Cubs nothing. Stroman back to work. On the ground to the left. On to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Bounce to the right. Torres. Tosses to first. And the Cubs go one, two, three. New inning getting started, and now the catcher comes up to him. Jose Trevino. That one fouled off. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Pulls it in on the running track. Thought that was a no-doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. Rizzo yeah. at the plate for the third time as he comes one. up empty there. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up oh. there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of no, the way. Maybe it. more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And oh. another ball. On the ground, right side. Tosses to the That's pitcher, right. covering the bag. And that is... Back here at the friendly confines. Bottom of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Right, and there's a strike. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen. But you've got to take what he's offering that day. Zips it across. One away. Big time out leading off the home seven. Oh, look at the stop. Throw to the pitcher. It's there, and that's a great play. Well, he makes a great decision to go ahead and dive and stop that ball. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. Those are those PFPs, pitchers, fielding plays. Dansby Swanson stands in. And that one fouled off. The Yankees trying to protect a two-run lead here in the third and final game Back of the series. Two. And a big swing and a miss. No ball. Two strikes. A rope in the right, and that's a base hit. So two down. Christopher Morrell, the next cup to hit. That one finds the corner. Strike one. one. Just that missed. missed. That's the ball. One and one. On the ground. A dive. They stop. Yep. And they get the out. Cubs leave one, and they're down 2 nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. Now at the plate, Anthony Volpe. And the right hander back to work. On the ground, out to short. Swanson. The throw to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. In the ball. first pitch, misses for ball one. Killian measures six feet, four inches. He features a sinker, a cutter, ball. a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. One out, base is empty. That one nope. missed, now 3-0. and oh. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Next Eight. pitch in ah. for a strike, 3-1. Three 3-1. And one. Three one. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Clips the corner, and it's 3-2. and two. Full count.
One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. Gomes collects, fires to first, and there's two gone following the strikeout. Juan Soto down. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. The pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And that clips the inside corner. Strike two. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. And that one goes straight to the backstop. And on the wild pitch, he goes down to third. Have to be really sure you can make it safely to third when you're in scoring position and two outs. Got to get that run across. Very important. Does a nice job of reading it. Gets to third base now just 90 feet away. Whips it across. And that is that. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and now the DH, David Fry. There's the swing and a miss. Stroman no ball. into One his strike. eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets oh. better as he gets deeper into the ball Going game. One. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. That's the third. Cabrera. Fires over to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Runner on at first with one gone. And here's the first baseman, Michael Bush. And he hits a ground ball right side. And it gets by him. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook the rock. Bounced up the middle. Flips it. One yeah. second to first. Not in time. Great effort there. I promise you, there are guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. up to hit that one finds the zone strike one Another time, that's a base hit. throw in holds the lead runner at second two on now with two away and up next for Chicago Seiya Suzuki first pitch doesn't find the zone that's in there Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Cabrera. Fires across the diamond. That ends the inning. All set. Have to start the ninth in this one. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Glaber Torres. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Jump throw. But he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Swung on, belted. That's back. On the warning track, it hauls it in. Jose Trevino getting ready to hit. One for two. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And the righty deals. And that one missing low. Down. 
the pitch. That one lifted to left. Hat moving under it. He's there. He's got it. And there's two away. And now Anthony Rizzo. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bellinger drifts towards it. And that'll do it. So no. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Clay Holmes. 29 saves on the season. Now, so he's looking for number 30 right here. He's up in big form in the back of that bullet. Bellinger up to hit. The pitch. Swing and a tap for the rolls foul. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. One run game, bottom nine. And a swing and a miss. A huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. No ball. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone. Oh, well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated. And then this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. One strike away. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. He's done it again, Boog. That's his 30th save of the year as he puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. And your final score here today, 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by the Game of the Week. I'm John Chomby. We'll talk to you soon.